FTL. Faster than light, a dangerous trip through space with simple controls that ends most likely with you exploding. Hey there, Internet. My friends call me Jay. Grab a spaceship, name your crew, fly off into space, meet some mean people, shoot lasers at each other, one of you explodes. FTL is a slow speed chase across the stars, with simple timeless pixel graphics over a static camera view of your ship. You fly between interesting points of space using your faster than light drive, trying to collect as much scrap, crew, missiles, and other useful parts as you can, while outrunning the rebel fleet hot on your trail. It's a lot of blowing up and being blown up by spaceships. What makes it so fun is why those things explode. FTL has a whole slew of fun things you can do on your ship. You can cloak to avoid enemy fire, mind control the enemy crew to leave them without a pilot, hack their shield systems to take them offline, just so, so many things. But fundamentally, you can shoot lasers from cannons and block lasers with shields. Unlocking a new ship is a big deal in FTL, since death is quite permanent. A new ship is a tangible something you get back from a brutal game for your efforts that lets you have some guarantee the next time will be different. But look at the first ship you get in FTL, the Kestrel, and it begins to explain the thought and effort that went into FTL's design. Not only is the Kestrel the ship example during the little tutorial FTL will provide you, it is the most basic. Ships in FTL span a whole rainbow of colors and specifications that focus on different options available for fighting back against the pirates and rebel scum floating around in your way across space. But the Kestrel does not use any of the fancy stuff. You have shields, lasers, and some missiles. Empty rooms litter its hallways as you have your crew run around to their stations. The Kestrel stands as an intersection of beginning difficulty and understanding the game. And you can fill those empty rooms with new stations and abilities for your ship from shops along your travels. But to get there, you have to prove your understanding of the Kestrel, of the game's main mechanics. How to shoot, how to block, how missiles pass through shields but are a limited resource. It's this incredible learning curve. So by the time you actually make it to the shop with enough scrap to actually buy anything new, you've proven you know how the basics work and you're ready for new toys, new mechanics to slap onto the side of your ship. What adds to this is how random the game is. Shops have all sorts of different things in them between runs, not to mention they are in totally different places. But the enemy ships are also randomized and have a very important role in teaching you about the game. Since gaining some new function on your ship is so hard and unlocking a new ship only more so, most likely, the first time you ever see any of these new ship functions is down the barrel of an enemy ship's cannon. The number of ships cobbled together with alternate weapon types and ship functions is a staggering number. One ship will have a teleporter to board onto your ship. Another will have a beam weapon that can cut across multiple essential rooms across your hull. Someone will have non-lethal but fast-firing ion weapons to erase your shields. And you will see all of this well before you get to use it, teaching you with ship after ship what the game has to offer in a sort of deathly gallery of game mechanics. Helping you to get more giddy when you see a rare subweapon in the shop, and challenging you all the more to master any new ships you get your hands on so you too can use those special subweapons. If anything, FTL has almost too much to offer. The sort of things that can kill you, the hole breaches sucking out your oxygen, fire breaking out from a solar flare, asteroids crashing through your medical bay. But it's okay. It isn't too much because FTL was designed smart, and what could have crippled the game into obscurity over complexity is accounted for. And this is really important. Everything from the graphics to the camera the controls is made simple. Clear indications of new strange things you have not seen before pop up on a largely open screen. So identifying new and dangerous things is practically immediate to a player who only has a single unmoving camera to worry about. It is very hard to miss things in FTL. You can't get lost in your ship or fail to see the effects of some new system. You can't get overwhelmed by particle effects from flashy animations. If anything, the most intense animation in the game is your ship exploding, and even that is handled with simple PG graphics that are almost impossible to be misunderstood. But what really brings it home, what really makes FTL such a staple of a difficult yet inviting game is how little you have to know. There is so much to learn, and FTL will give you plenty of time to learn all about it between killing your crew with giant space spiders and sending you massive murder robots that turn your ship into a floating tomb. But you can take as long as you want to learn. The game is brutal. 
but even if you see nothing but endless new systems and weapons you don't understand attack you as you fly around, you always have an idea of what to do. The mechanics in FTL are layered, and at its core, the Kestrel is enough information to battle through any unknown space before you. No matter what you are fighting, get past the enemy shields, shoot that room till that system breaks and it stops being a problem, from enemy guns to enemy cloning pods. All the mechanics are additive off those basic ones you mastered in your first few flights, building a challenging yet inviting space in the game for curiosity and a little fear over what new thing lies before you, while simultaneously doing a pretty good job of not overwhelming you. FTL is available digitally on all sorts of platforms, and it's pretty cheap. If you haven't played it, you should pick it up. Hey again, Internet, thanks for watching. Here's another video you might have missed, and you should totally come hang out with us on Twitch sometime, or Tumblr, or Twitter. Choose your poison.